on to problem two. Bit party. Can robots throw a good party? Okay, so the R robots are going to be shopping to the supermarket. They have bought B bits. Oh my gosh, and we have to get through the line. Yes, important problem with groceries. Okay, so we need to assign the robots or a partition of the bits to the cashiers. We can use the most R pieces. Uh, and we just need to uh, minimize the maximum. Interesting. Okay. So in the small case, there's five cashiers, and in the large case, there are a thousand cashiers. Uh, and we have at most a billion bits. Interesting. So there's a simple DP on the number of bits and in which the index of the cashier that you're on, but that's too slow because there's a billion bits. Uh, there's not a billion bits. There are a billion bits. Okay, so I need to be cleverer than that. Okay, that's promising for the waffle thing. Uh, okay. Interesting. So if we knew the subset of cashiers that we were going to care about, then we would just greedily assign the ones with the lowest slope, uh, or S. So let's read in the input while we're thinking. What is the input format? RBC. And then MSP. So if we forgot about S, this would just be a knapsack problem. So that's something. Suppose that there were no S, how would we solve this? Uh, so let me just want the cheapest guys that add up to at least B.
would we solve that? It's a bit hard to treat it as a knapsack problem because both the score and the capacity can be enormous numbers. The number of items is small. Is that useful? It's hard. A bunch of people have solved this, so it can't be that hard. Samples, maybe. Hmm. I don't feel particularly enlightened, especially because these are a bit hard to read. It's come second. All right, it's the minute, the max. It's not the total. So you always want to use, well, that's not true. You often want to use all of the cashiers. Uh, okay, so fine, I thought it was the sum. So the way you solve this problem without S is you just binary search over the answer. And then for each binary search, you take things that are cheap enough and you sort them uh, by their capacity and you take the biggest ones. Okay. Progress, that feels like progress. So can we also binary search over the answer and just take the cheapest? Yes, we can do exactly that. All right, let's do that. Okay, so the answer can be at most 10 to the 9. We'll be very type safe. Uh, Everything. <laughs> so if that answer works, then we know we can do at least that well. And otherwise, okay, so do we want to have a plus one here? Uh, no. Oh, equals mid. Minus one. Okay, so if it was zero and one, 
Um, it's okay. Then that's bad. Okay, so we want it like that. Now we just need to write okay. It should not be that hard. generate our list of like how many each tissue can handle using this time threshold. Just the min of how many can handle period and uh, Cut off minus, okay, so what do we want? We want P plus S times cap less than or equal to cutoff, which says that cap less than or equal to cutoff minus P over S. So let's just do that. Sort always puts the lower elements first, so we actually want to go from the back. And we just need our sum to be greater than or equal to the goal. So that's it. Okay. Well, let's see if it solves the sample. Actually, I'll put anything. Fair enough. And I get the lowest possible answer. So it goes like this. Okay. So 547, 547. How about that? 